The FBI and police across the country are looking for two missing children from Idaho who might be in extreme danger. Six-year-old Joshua Vallow and 17-year-old Tylee Ryan have been missing since September. Fox 13's Adam Herbetz is live in studio with an update on the search for these two and their parents. Adam. Kirsten, this is Lori Vallow, the children's mother, and this is the man police believe she's with, Chad Daybell. Both of them had their spouses suspiciously die within the last six months. They quickly married each other, and now police believe they are both on the run. This was supposed to be Tammy Daybell's final resting place in Springville, Utah, miles away from Idaho, where she lived with her husband, Chad Daybell. When she died at the age of 49, doctors said it was from natural causes, but now investigators have exhumed her body and consider the death suspicious. We haven't been able to uh, make contact with him for the last uh, couple of weeks. Now Chad is also away from home. He remarried quickly and this is the new bride, Lori Vallow, another recent widow. Her husband was shot and killed by her brother last July in Arizona, he says, in self-defense. But now the brother is also dead. The newlyweds are missing, and her children have been missing since September. We've gotten pretty much the runaround. I'm not for sure about the last time anybody saw Chad or Lori. The last time anybody had seen uh, the kids were some, somewhere around the 23rd or 24th of September. Police in Rexburg, Idaho say while different agencies investigate the death of each spouse, their main concern is the children and finding the runaway couple who lied to officers about the kids' location for months. We would even be good with a, a FaceTime video of, of the children to, you know, to make us you know, uh, feel better that they, they are safe. Investigators say they do not know if the kids or the family is in Arizona, Utah, Idaho, or any other state, but the two children may be in serious danger. If you have any information, please call the Rexburg Police Department. Reporting in studio, Adam Herbetz, Fox 13 News, Utah.